Thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe and like. Now back to the news. Tupac Shakur crime scene investigator Cheryl McCollum believes Sean Diddy Combs is connected to the rapper's 1996 murder and his previous shooting in 1994. This whole thing to me started in 1994, the first time Tupac is Sean McCollum, who worked on Shakur's 1996 death, told News Nation Friday. The all Azami hitmaker was shot during a robbery gone wrong at New York City's Quad Studios in Times Square at the same time, Sean Diddy Combs was in the studio with an entourage of about 40 people. You ain't gotta shoot somebody five times to take their jewelry and their money, McCollum explained. Sean Puffy Combs and his entourage of 40. Unharmed. Unthreatened. How does that make sense to anybody that one person is going to be robbed and not the other 40? Who would have had more money and jewelry? 40. After the shooting, Shakur openly accused Biggie Smalls, also known as the notorious B.I.G., his label Bad Boy Records and the label's founder, Combs, of having a role in the incident because of their unbothered reaction when he limped into the studio with blood on him. Nobody approached me. I noticed that nobody would look at me here called to Vibe magazine in 1995. Puffy was standing back too. I knew Puffy, he said. He knew how much stuff I had done for Biggie before he came out. Shakur was murdered two years later in a drive-by shooting as he was leaving a boxing match at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Both times that Tupac Shakur is shot, he is trapped in something the column explained to News Nation Friday. He's trapped in an elevator, and then he's trapped in a car. There is literally nowhere to run. Both scenes though, ironically, don't have video footage she added. To me, this signifies somebody close to him knows his whereabouts on that day, that time, and that location. That, to me, shrinks your suspect pull pretty good. Only a handful of people would have known where he was on both of those days. Naturally, Combs, 54, and Biggie vehemently denied any ties to Shakur's death. Ironically, Biggie was killed in 1997, and the case has not been solved. McCollum expressed her theory after Page Six exclusively reported in July that Shakur's family is considering filing a wrongful death lawsuit against Combs. People from Diddy's past are coming forward and providing info an insider told us. The family hired lawyer Alex Spiro, who has worked for Elon Musk and Megan Thee Stallion, to investigate. The legal move came after it was revealed that the man currently charged with Shakur's death, Duane Keith D. Davis, suggested in a 2009 interview with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police that Combs put a $1 million hit on Shakur. Combs, of course, is already behind bars as he awaits trial for his sex trafficking and racketeering case.